906 Outdoors is brought to you by Cooking Wild Seasonings. Make it fresh, make it yours. It's never too soon to start making fishing plans. And right about this time of winter, I'm ready for a trip back to spring. I'm in the Keweenaw for a day of fishing with pro fisherman Mark Martin and fishing guide Larry Smith. We'll take a look at a little different way to fish lake trout. Wherever there's lake trout to be had, you can do it and have fun. Nine million acres of forest, 1,700 miles of continuous shoreline, 4,300 lakes, 12,000 miles of streams, more than 300 waterfalls, 15 counties, two time zones, and one area code. Welcome to the Upper Peninsula. Welcome to 906 Outdoors. Okay, Larry showed me how to do this with the gebu, uh, with the wire line and everything. It was great, you know, it's fun, big Northland jig, bucktail, chunk of sucker, piece of plastic on it. We did it by hand and we did really well out here. Then last year I put a rip and wrap down and we were catching them on rip and wraps and, and oh, there I just had a hit right there. There, I got him. Then I got to get rid of that. It's on the snap wrap, glow in the dark. It look like what they do, they look like smelt these things. And uh, they're gorging themselves on smelt. Everyone I've caught out here got a, a fist size, you know, ball of smelt they've been just chowing on. Because it's heavy, these jigs are, you just want to keep a bend in your rod. Um, you don't want to sit there and pump it too much because you can pump it right out of the fish too. And uh, there's some color, he's coming up. He's right here. There he is. On a snap wrap. Would it take a couple, couple minutes, Larry? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> just the right eating size right there. It'll be one on the smaller end of what we're gonna be catching here today right here, but these are good good eating size right here. And you can see how much, even in the small one, it's got a lot, I can feel the smell in there, the, feel the little heads in there, the little hard spots. Oh, you got one of the bottom ones? We'll uh, get this thing back down. Yeah, I see you're coming up, you're 100 feet down. Oh, came off. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I just lost a fish coming uh, probably close to halfway up, and if I was using my gebo, I'd have to pull it up and rebait and, and uh, you know, check everything on it. With these baits we're using here, these rapalas there, you just drop her back down, start fishing again. Nine oh six Outdoors is brought to you in part by Blades Bait and Tackle, your hard water connection to Little Baity Knock. I was just banging it right off the of bottom. I mean, I was I was hit every time I let it down, I hit bottom with it. Yeah, this winter we learned that, you know, bottom is really your friend. And we just, we were banging jigging rapalas, slab wraps on the bottom, you know, spoons on the bottom, all sorts of, everything we did, we did it to call the fish in. Even though we may have rattles on some of the stuff, we made sure we just banged the bottom and you get them in and then they see all the mud and stuff kicking up and 
it looks like a little fish feeding because we went into shallow water and we're actually catching them. That's a better lake trout. Thank you, Larry. Yeah, he's got the one hook in him, so that's kind of nice. There. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. I just dropped a snap wrap down here on six pound flame green fire line, walleye tackle. Same jig and rod I'd use in the Detroit River when I'm using uh, three quarter one ounce jigs. You need a medium heavy rod to do this. Six pound fire line so that you can get it down. We anchored with the, the motor guide, put the spot lock on and it you know angles wherever the wind is and it keeps us right there and all you got to do is keep watching this fire line you're on bottom right there so you just reel it up right there keep twitching it you don't don't need to go wham wait i mean you could catch them but then you're got that much drop to it and they're just like jig and rampolas this is a flat wrap you know they just look like jig and rampolas the snap wrap that I just put down is more bullet shape and not as flat. They, they do have tails on them. I'm just going to drop that right down. And there's a fish down there right now. You can see them right on the bottom. See that? Now, what I'll do is I'll pound it on the bottom here a little bit. They kind of like that at times. And you just keep working it. Larry's got a rip and wrap on too and it's got a lot of big rattles in it so it calls the fish in it works really good out here because it's you know that's heavy and uh, you can get it down there and it's really sporting in fact there there's the flat wrap you can see it there on that one but you can see it right there it went and hit bottom right there looks like a fish a fish is coming in for it this is what the snap wrap looks like. It's got the little fin just like the flat wrap. The flat wrap's a little... And then we got a piece of 17-pound uh, Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon, ball bearing swivel, which is very important, and a little uh, Northland cross lock right there. That helps the lure swim, but you gotta, you know, and you gotta attach right to the fire line from there. So it's it's gotta be set up right. And if it's not set up right, it's just, you're going to have line twist. If you think you can do this with mono, you probably can, but good luck because this thing's going to stretch too much in 200 feet of water, and you're not going to have the hook setting power, and you're not going to feel that little light hit like this one. He just ticked it like a perch or bluegill. And so if you had mono, you'd, you might jerk up at the right time, but because you'd have mono, it'd have so much stretch, you might lose them because of no hook setting power. I seen that great big fish down there. Oh, oh got one. Now we got a double header. Oh, almost had one on the rod I sat down. <laughs> All right, now we got two of them going here. <laughs> Looks like a halfway decent one, yeah, Larry. Yeah, feels kind of heavy. Feels a little different than uh, than the gebel, though. <laughs> yeah, you don't have wire all around your feet, yeah. around your ankles, and yeah, this is really, really cool. You know, I enjoy the heck out of this. Like yesterday, George said this should be illegal. <laughs> he, this, he never, and he's been up here for you know how many years, and he said that was his best day he ever had. You need the net, Larry? Here. Out of trouble, so. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oop, yeah, I still got this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Get this net extended in my hand without putting it down in the. There we go. That one was on the flat wrap. Yours was on a snap wrap there, Larry? Yeah, fire tiger. Fire tiger. Yours is bigger than mine, Larry. <laughs> yeah, these will be some good eating fish right there. A fish on that? Oh yeah, we got a fish on this one. <laughs> He's been running around with that. Well, thanks, Brian. Took, took my eyes off of my uh, snap wrap. You know, had that just dangling on, in my rod holder and Brian turns around and says, Oh, you got a fish going. You know, I've, I've never seen one way out there like that. 
He was running way away from the boat. Oh, look at the lamprey on him. He's got a lamprey on him, Larry. Yeah, this one's gonna be a good eating one. This one looks like one of those, the orange ones, what do you call them? Mackinaws or something like that, or. You can see, cause look at, the, look at the fins on him, see the white on him. But uh, he's had lampreys on him before in a couple of different spots. That's where that one was just on him right there. Interesting. Okay. No. 906 Outdoors is brought to you by Race Driven, your source for premier power sports products. didn't even get that one down. <laughs> Whoa, this is a better fish. Wow. This is a better fish. That was laying on the bottom. I looked down, I see a fish down there. I went to lift it and he already had it in his mouth. I didn't even get to I jigged it right into him. I want to get that other rod down there, but oh yeah, we got color. Look at all those bubbles coming out of him. Boy, look at that one. He's all, he's either gotten Net marks, met lamprey. Wow, they've been chowing on these babies. The lampreys have. I think we'll uh, let him go back and get some skin, <laughs> get more skin in the game. <laughs> Lost a little fire line on here and had mono backing. Well, almost got to the bottom with fire line and had to go into the mono backing on here. I'll tell you what, I haven't done it. I, I could tell where bottom was, but it feels like mush down there. The whole line feels like one big rubber band right now. Even though I just got a little bit out where this right here is like, you can feel the lure working where I can't, I just feel some weight down there, nothing else on this one. So just proved to myself that I'm gonna go dig out my other fire line reel and <laughs> get back down there and get in the game. <laughs> We're fishing straight down and 200 feet, well, between 195 and 200 feet of water. It's kind of on a little break down here. It kind of goes up and down. Uh, it's, uh, you know, probably clay, sand, you know, probably some rock down there, but we're not getting hung up when we're bouncing it on the bottom. Well, three times before I hooked them, I pulled, really? well, there's probably other fish in it too, I'm sure. The They're thing that there. makes it all possible and easy is this motor guide XI-5 with the spot lock on it keeps us right here even in this wind right here we haven't moved hardly at all so that's really helping out things there finally got another rod down looks like I'm down to about 175 feet now I'm almost there oh yeah nice one yeah that's a good one okay where's my other nut here oh you got you got it there Lair? That's my uh, Detroit River net special there. I, I got that net jigging. <laughs> there you go. They 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 hook, I tell you. It's another nice eater one there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish, look at that. No yeah. marks on it at all. Beautiful. Yeah, he's uh, gonna be one of those orange ones, one of the natural ones or yep. whatever you call them. fight me all the way. He actually pulled just a little drag out for a tenth of a second there. You got one too? Okay. <laughs> Whoa, he's going back. Yeah, these, these might be bigger fish. I think these are, you know, I was pounding on the bottom and went to lift up and he was there. Boy, they're all over down there on the bottom. Probably have one on our dead rods again. I haven't had one like this fight, I don't know, since I've been out here doing it. Not this long. Usually they, there's a give up point somewhere. 
I don't see no color yet, but I haven't been able to bring them up too fast. Oh yeah, I see color down there. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Wow, definitely a good fish. That's a big laker. There's there's Larry's coming out. There. <laughs> Flat wrap, snap wrap. <laughs> Boy, two of them, they're both about the same size. I'll let you get yours and I'll, I'll uh, I see he got over into my snap wrap. I see my fi fire line wrapped around his nose. You can see that fire line from my other one. You can see it twisted around on him down there hanging in the water. Which will be really, really, really nice. He's heavy. He's a good one. We have the whole rapala family here today. The ripping wraps, the flap wraps, and the snap wraps. Only thing we don't have is uh, the jigging wrap. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice, beautiful lake trout I mean you know people should you know they you know it's a fun thing to do out here you know if you have the time and go find these lake trout out in deep water these lures do work it's a lot of fun it's just like uh, you know you, you, you can't uh, say say enough about it because uh, you know they they fight good all the way up, you know, especially on light tackle. Well, we'll get this one in, get me on, get untangled so I get back in the game. Today's show is brought to you in part by Rapid River Knife Works, home of Michigan's largest custom knife factory showroom. 906 Outdoors is brought to you by Race Driven, your source for premier power sports products. 906 Outdoors is brought to you in part by NutraFeed, nutritional feed solutions for deer and horses. 906 Outdoors is brought to you by Cooking Wild Seasonings. Make it fresh, make it yours. 906 Outdoors is brought to you in part by Blades Bait and Tackle, your hard water connection to Little Baby Knock. Today's show is brought to you in part by Rapid River Knife Works, home of Michigan's largest custom knife factory showroom. This is a closer look at the flat wrap. You want the bigger one to get down in this deep water and you want that little cross lock snap. This is a Northland, Berkeley makes them. You want a high quality ball bearing swivel right there. You got a lot of twist and swim with this uh, horizontal swim bait and then you got your fire line so you can feel the hit too. Uh, so then you got the medium heavy rod that completes the ensemble with a nice light reel right here. This is uh, Cardinal Abu Garcia. And then this is the snap wrap. It's just not as flat as the flat wrap. It's similar in design, it swims around down there, but it's all hooked up the same. Medium heavy rod. And then you have ripping wrap. You hear that nice rattle to it. And that's what attracts these fish in, and it's all hooked up the same way. I figured it wouldn't take you very long, Larry. <laughs> yeah, they're real nice ones. Figured I'd just grab him so he didn't get all tangled up in a net with your line on there. Another nice fish. Yeah, that's a good one, Larry. There we go. Boy, for a second I was wondering if he had any weight to him at all. There's some color coming up. He's not as small as I thought he was. Yeah, they're like like little leeches on the bottom of them. They're laying right on the bottom, aren't they? There you go. We'll, we'll put this little baby back in here and let him go. There he goes. Just like a little torpedo. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice one, Larry. 
Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Been just consistent today. Yeah, I got another one. Snap wrap. Yeah, this reminds me so much of vertical fishing for walleyes in the river, you know, the hit, the how you gotta do it, or like ice fishing, you know, it's the same thing. We've caught plenty of lake trout here today uh, with uh, ripping wraps, uh, snap wraps, and flat wraps, it, and hopefully everybody can pick up on what we did, how we did it, go out and have some fun and do it yourself out here in Lake Superior or wherever there's lake trout to be had, you can do it and have fun. I could sit here and catch fish like this all day. <laughs> it's just fun. That guy's saying anybody can do this. I mean, you could take your little kids out here. So you don't have to be an expert at anything. You just gotta be an expert at being able to feel, watch and see when it hits bottom and pick it up and down and the fish will let you know when they're there. It's not difficult. And they keep coming back a lot of times till you hook them like this one right here. This was just sitting in the rod holder and you bent it over and sat around and looked at it after that till I picked it up and twitched it a couple times and he came right back. We'll put this baby back in and uh, give him the torpedo. So, cause he's got a little bit of air in his belly right there. We want to let him go back down. So you kind of help them back down by, by taking them and putting them like a torpedo and getting them going. Our day of fishing didn't end there. Over the next couple of weeks or so, we'll check back in for some splake and some walleye. Yeah, we're, we're headed in uh, to do some casting uh, for uh, along the edge of uh, the shoreline to see if we get some splake and brook trout, brown trout, whatever's in there, maybe even some more lake trout, who knows. Feel free to join us on Facebook or visit us at 906outdoors.com for a look at all of our shows as well as the 906 Outdoors Fishing Report, shopping, and more. Thanks for watching, and we invite you to join us next week for another adventure right here on 906 Outdoors. Mm -hmm.